I'm going to do a video. I went on the course last week, well just before Christmas, about repairing these cordless drills. So I'm going to do a video about the Tessie Electrics on this one today, just so that I can remember for myself and anyone else needs it. Quite easy. So I've got to set the camera up. So obviously the first thing to check would be the battery. Put it on volts DC. Doesn't really matter which way around you go, it'll tell you if you're wrong. So that's dead on 12 volts. If you put it the other way, it's saying minus 12 volts. So it's telling you the plus is on this side. So the plus should be this side. And it is. So we know the battery's alright. Now when I plug this in, there's nothing working. This is faulty, it's been faulty for years. So it's going to whip the solid covers off. These can be different lengths, but on this one, they're all the same, so it's all right. That's it, clamshell should pull off pretty easy. If it don't, you've missed a bolt. Okay, so you've got your switch, motor, brushes, gearbox, chuck. Okay then. You can put your battery back in. Now as you can see here, I know what's wrong with this, I tested it yesterday, the actual motor is burnt out. So if we connect these wires back together, you can see here, On this bottom switch you got 12 volts or near enough can you see that yeah and then on the top on the motor we have nothing press the switch and wouldn't you believe it it's working today You've got nothing on there when you press the button it's only showing six volts because the battery is obviously a bit worn might also be something to do with bad connections 
Well, yesterday when I done that, there was a short in the motor. So now if you didn't have 12 volts there, after you pulled the trigger, what I'll do is I'll cut these and I'll test it here. It's going to be hard. In fact, I'm going to stop it when it gets some better connections. Okay, then, so I've got these better crocodile clips. And as you can see, by pulling the button, you get 12 volt. It doesn't seem to vary. Oh, it does. It is varying. Look. So it's dropping up and down, going to a lower voltage. Basically, that tells me the switch is all right. Now, yesterday, when I tested the motor, that had a dead short. So how come it suddenly fixed itself overnight? I don't know, but it's unusual, but electric sometimes are. So basically, if you pull that and you get 12 volts up here, you know your switch is all right. If you don't, it could be your motor shorted. So I disconnected these here and tested them here. Or it could be that your transistor is faulty. And they're pretty easy to test as well. If you can get to the wires. In fact, it might be best to test them at that point there. Just try it. To test these you need to get to diode mode. You should have about six on one, not point four. You got nothing, nothing. That looks like it. Put it on the middle one. You've got 0 0.8 that side, 0 0.4 that side. So it could be the transistor on the way out or some circuitry inside. Then you swap them over, put the negative on that terminal. Then you check both sides, it should be open loop. Yeah. So I think that transistor is all right. You could disconnect it and test it properly. So all the other circuitry in there don't affect it, but I'm not gonna do that today. Okay, so I'm gonna test this motor as well now. Now yesterday, what you do is you put up to about the motor of the battery, which on this is a 12 volt, maximum current on your power lamp and touch it to it. Now yesterday when I was touching this to that, it was dropping down to 0 volts saying there was a short in the armature. But today, as soon as I click it, the battery runs. The motor runs, so I don't really know what happened. It could have been that I had too little current on and it drops down to zero. So I'm not 100% certain about that. But the motor's working fine. 
the switch is working fine and the battery is 12 volts but a bit flat so all that's wrong with that drill is a dead battery so just to summarize because that got a bit messy and it always does when you're filming test your battery test your wires before your battery so you you eliminated any problems around this area in the I'd say the primary wiring, I don't know what you call it. And then you test at the motor. If you press the button, you get 12 volts there. Then you know you're switching, everything's fine. But if there isn't 12 volts, it could either be a switch or your motor shorted. So then you gotta, you got to test, take the wires off, test your, test your switch, test your transistor, and test your motor like on the power lab. And then that's it, you should find your problem. Obviously my motor tested fine, switch test fine, so all it was, after all, was these batteries are dead. But luckily I've learned a bit about these as well, so I'm going to try and revive them. Even though I ain't got a charge for it, I can use my power lab. And that's it really for the electrics, pretty simple.